See, this is the kind of stuff that gets my buddy Corey Torf aggravated. Mike Bibby gets traded to the Wizards for a Kirk Heinrich. Mike Bibby sees that this team's no good. So the Wizards go, well, why don't you buy out your contract? Leave your money on the table and you can go with anybody you want. So Mike Bibby says, okay, take the $6 million that I was supposed to get paid. I want to sign out. I want to go on waivers. I'll get picked up by somebody else. Now, hopefully, he'll get that same money. But can you imagine the players and the owners are going to have a bargaining session? And you know what's going to have to come up? That Mike Bibby has so much money from being really inept over his career. He's not the man that I thought he'd be, the player I thought he'd be. Maybe he'll get it now being with at least a Miami Heat or somebody like that. But can you imagine just leaving $6 million on the table? That's where sports is in this country now. That a guy like Mike Bibby, who's averaging nine points a game, five assists, quite frankly. And by the way, I've watched Atlanta since he's left. Much, much better. Much well-defined. Uh, they, they seem to have their ducks in a row. And they don't have Mike Bibby. He's going to go to Miami, try to win that championship. But boy, to leave $6 million on the table tells you all you have to need about these athletes. Who would have ever dreamt that, huh? I mean, I'm just saying. Brought to you by Tony's Deli right there in Edison Park.